For the second time in less than 24 hours, Macomb County Clerk Karen Spranger is back in the headlines. Uh, yesterday, we reported the Macomb County Ethics Board ruled Spranger was in violation of the county's IT ethics policy. Check out what happened just a few hours later. She wrecked her county-owned car when police say she rear-ended an SUV at an intersection in Roseville. Jason Colthorpe live tonight, and we should start, I guess, with the news that uh, the clerk is okay, right, Jason? She is okay, Devin. She was actually back at work here at the clerk's office today, but she was at fault in that accident. And I spoke to the county today, and it finds, you know, it, number one, it's glad everyone's glad that uh, Karen Springer is okay. But number two, you know, it's unfortunate she's had these mounting problems one after another, but now the county is starting to worry about mounting legal costs to the county and, i.e., the taxpayers. Macomb County Clerk Karen Springer's county-owned Ford Focus now looks like this. Roseville police say Springer was approaching a red light on 12 Mile at Grosbeck when her foot slipped off the brake and hit the gas, rear-ending the car in front of her. She was ticketed for failing to stop and having no proof of insurance. It's the latest setback for the embattled new clerk. Are you I would call it bad luck. Bad luck, including being stripped of her computer privileges for allowing non-county personnel to access her computer, firing her two deputies only to have them immediately sue the county, and then yesterday's punishment from the ethics committee. I knew when I came into office there was going to be struggles and difficulties because when I did my six years participating into local government, Sometimes I call it the system is broken, and I always use the phrase, let's fix it. Many wonder what needed fixing, though, considering the last clerk administration won numerous awards for efficiency. We have to get back to common sense and go back to some of the public acts that gives you jurisdiction and control to run your office. Despite the constant controversies, Spranger is confident she can get the job done even if her bad luck isn't over. If things don't turn around or, or if you feel overwhelmed, is there a chance you would ever consider resigning from this? No, because it's not to that level. But could that change? A source in the executive's office tells me the county's concerned this accident could open the county up to a lawsuit from that other driver, a 60-year-old woman who is okay also. And if you're scoring at home, that would be this one, plus two federal whistleblower lawsuits already filed and a potential fourth lawsuit that Spranger is considering filing against the Board of Commissioners. Four lawsuits in less than four months on the job. We're in Mount Clemens tonight. Jason Colthorpe, Local 4. Well, Jason, back to the, the original portion of this. Was it reported right away? It actually wasn't technically, Devin. Uh, people at the county uh, just happened to hear about it. So they called over oh. the clerk's office to find out you know, exactly what happened. And as I'm told, uh, as protocol goes, she needs to write up an account of what happened and submit it to the county. And sources tell me it's still on her desk here in the clerk's office. Oh, yeah. Devin. All right, Jason.